okalo ogute obalo ogute agu opoko opoko is the home bill form of agu the messenger of chuku during the time when chuku Atufu was designing the fate of the already bettered universe. He sent out Oboko to go and observe how creation was turning out. And Oboko came out from Betuku and saw that the earth was covered with water and darkness. Thus, Oboko is a representation of Agbo, the messenger of Chuku. Agwishoha. Agwu is the Igbo spirits of divination, astrology, astronomy, writing, healing, wisdom, communication, knowledge, intelligence, and divine actions. As the chief of information gathering, Agwu is the greatest symbol of Igbo Dibias, shamans. Nothing is above Agwu, which is why it is called Agwishoha. It is the head of all. It is Agu that makes one a Dibia. Agu manifested immediately after the Earth came into existence. Like the two sides of our brain, Agu comes as male and female. Nyagu and Okagu. One of the zoomorphic forms of Agu is as a falcon hawk. And Kemet, Heru, and Aset are both an embodiment of Nyagu and Okagu. Agu Bishoha. No deity is above Agu, and no deity can function without Agu. Nagu. Nagu is the mother of wisdom and knowledge in Igbo spirituality. She is the mother that reveals all abya, mystical knowledge for healing and wisdom. In the Abrahamic mystery systems, the Holy Spirit is a hidden embodiment of a Nagu who was also manifested as Sophia, the mother of wisdom in Greco-Roman world. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, was described as the divine force, quality, and influence of God over the universe and over his creatures. Also, the Holy Spirit acts as an agent of divine action and communication. The Holy Spirit is also seen as the intermediary between God and man. And these principles originated from the mysteries of Anagwa, the mother of wisdom governing planet Mercury in astrology.
Odiobala, the grand lady of the universe, incarnated as Nenwanyawu to reveal the mysteries of the universe to her Igbo children. The mysteries of Nenwanyawu revealed the Igbo origin of the divination system known in Igbo as Afa and in Yoruba as Ifa. In Ogaka, the first age of the world, all mystical knowledge were revealed by a woman known as Nenwanyawu. Anything that Igbo people wanted to know about the universe and life were all revealed by her. She was the source of all knowledge. She was the omniscience in physical form. She unveiled what was, what is, what will be. She lived until she was very old and died. When she passed away, the masses were thrown into confusion because it felt like wisdom was dead. However, a report was sent to Chuku and Chuku responded back. He instructed humans to bury the mother of wisdom and that the Ugili three will grow out of her head and that when its fruits ripes and falls, it should be broken into two and four on each side and should be used for divination and that will unveil what is, what was, and what will be. This was the origin of Afa Abobala Ogili, Ogili, the Venetian system of Ibu and in Africa. Neikuku. Agu is associated with the wind, waves, and air. Agu is a visitor. Agu na abia abia. It is an infinite spark of intelligence that invades one mind giving a person an immense amount of knowledge and wisdom. Obao Iruagu is the ritual of aligning one's agu to be balanced in order for one to make better and right decisions in life. Having your agu aligned is like hitting the target with an arrow being in tune with your chi and having your pineal intelligence gland crystal clear you will know you are accomplishing this spiritual tax when you begin to see what others cannot see having sight beyond sight and you go eagle eye and you go for falcon eye and you daily vulture eye all these birds are associated with agu and the pineal intelligence gland osara agu is the universal mind. The African Venus the source of the first light of creation. The Igbo manifestations of Venus reveals that, in fact, the goddess of beauty, love, sexuality, and all feminine attributes originated from Africa. The Sumerian Inanna, Ishtar, clearly derives from, from Ishiajata, Ishiajata, which is one of the many names of the Igbo African Venus. Inanna also comes from the Igbo Nene, which means mother of mothers. Historically, the Christian celebration known as Easter derived its name from the Ishtar, which is Ishiajata, Ishiajata. Thus, the celebration of Easter is the celebration of Ishtar. The symbol of the phoenix rising from its own ashes is a manifestation of the resurrection of Utokomosu, who is Venus.
Ekenne Chuku Komos to the counterparts of Chuku sacrifice our life force for Igbo people to have cocoa yam. And in the Igbo lunar calendar of Henri, Onwe Dajana, from late November to December, is dedicated to her. Every morning she resurrects as a Kenne Chukumoro Wanozo Toto. Thus she is the one called the Morning Star. Both Lucifer and Jesus were also called the Morning Stars in the Bible. It is because they are both early Iron Age Ogazi plagiarisms of the mother of all illumination who has existed since the beginning of time. Esoterically, Lucifer is feminine. It was she that illuminated Adam and Eve in the biblical allegory of the first man and the first woman. Nako, Omako, Nako is the supreme goddess of prosperity, fate, generosity, fortune, wealth, and economy. In this serious Ugo art, she's holding a basket full of gold while they are all pouring on the ground. She is wearing the Ibo Eagle white feather, which represents purity, and she's carrying Udu, the ancient Igbo vessel that represents feminine power. She represents one of the many incarnations of the Igbo African Venus. Aduto, Adada, Neuto, Utonna, the Igbo goddess of love and beauty. She's holding a mirror because she loves looking at her beauty, such as her face. Her hair is green because she represents life. She's the creator, Ekenne Chuku. She represents growth and illumination. Uto, her wings represents force and movements because she loves to travel the small baskets on her side represent riches and blessings the mound and the dove flying above the mound represents her elegance and the two dark skinned beauty wearing the horns of a natto and wings are her sacred servants esoterically the mound of our qualiomomo in her temple is the Mons Veneris, the mound of love, a mound that grows in the sacred vagina at the sacral plexus when a woman is sexually aroused. That is the Mons Venus, and Uto backwards is Auto, which means sacred vagina in Ibu.
other important forces of nature. Amadioha. Amadioha. Akano. Kano of Ofe. Ebu Igwe is the supreme Igbo god of thunder and lightning. Amadioha is one of the most popular Igbo deities, along with Ikenga and Ana. In some creation accounts, the earth goddess Ana Allah is his consort. Amadioha is the chief of justice, natural law, peace, and unity. His morphy form is a white ram. His favorite color is red, and his day in Ibu four market days is our four, the third day. Amumiigwe. Amumiigwe is the supreme Ibu goddess of lightning, justice, natural laws, and divine order. She created Iwana and Ansana, which are the natural laws and divine order of the Earth Mother. Amuma is also the interpreter of the will of the gods. Thus, Amuma in Ibu means foresight and lightning. Like Ma'at, her symbol is the scale of balance. Without Amumiigwe, humans wouldn't understand the significance of consequences. In some creation accounts, she is the consort of Ebuigwe, the supreme god of thunder. Njokuji Njokuji is the evil deity that is in charge of yam production and agriculture. In Igbo artifacts, he was often depicted with two goddesses that are possibly a dual version of Ifejoko and Ahajinjoko or Ahanjoko, which are his female counterparts as the custodians of yam in Igbo culture. In Igbo spirituality, yam is a masculine food, while koko yam is a feminine food. This doesn't mean that women don't eat yam or that men don't eat koko yam. The two goddesses that are the wives of Njo Koji were often depicted carrying children. This means that he is also a god of fertility and fertile lands. The name Njo Koji breaks down into three syllables. Nji Okoji which means light bearer of yam, a master of yam production. Obiela is Obichuku, which is the primordial cosmic house of the Supreme Chi that dwells at the core of the cosmos. The sacred geometry of Chuku is a square spiral. This is thought to be the shape of the primordial house of Ele, the infinite watcher of the universe. Also, the shape of the pyramids of Giza, the Nubian pyramids of Sudan. The Aztec pyramids and the cube of Saturn are all a representation of the shape of Obichuku. Obugu. 
Urugu is the supreme Igbo goddess that is in charge of divine feminine energy, feminine ability, feminine creativity, and feminine capabilities. Urugu also represents mountains and volcanoes. She is the consort of Udo. Ogugu is dark energy, which is the mysterious force that's causing the rate of expansion of our universe. She's the creator and the destroyer, which is why she is carrying her child in her left hand and holding on sword on her right hand. She is also a goddess of divine justice and war. The sacred tree of Ogugu is the Oji tree. Ogugu is the mother of feminine power, just as Ibu is the god of masculine power. Ibudu. Ibudu is that which is incomprehensible. It is in Ibudu that the true name of the Almighty manifested itself. Ibudu is a representation of the primordial state of the universe, which is pure darkness, just like Ogugu is the feminine aspect of dark energy. This is how Ibudu is the masculine aspect of dark energy. This is also what Shivudu represents in Hinduism. Chuku obscures himself in his Ibudu at the core of the cosmos, which is Akowa. The reason why no one truly knows the Almighty is because of Ibudu. Thus, to know the Almighty is to encounter Ibudu. Ibudu Aka, Ibudu Chi. Ibudu is the mysterious, incomprehensible dark one from an obscure source. As the lord of the underworld and primordial darkness, he has been incarnated in many cultures as Kush, Kemet, Amen, Roman Pluto, and Greek Hades. Ibudu is the ultimate universal reality. Everything that we know about this universe was seen during the time of Ibudu. It is during the night time that we see the Milky Way, Sirius and Nebulas. All we see during the day time are blue and white clouds with a gigantic star known as the sun shining down on everything. This bright star and his pride was well manifested in the Kemet mysteries of the universe in a story where the sun, Aura, was preventing the night sky goddess Nut from having her more children because any male child from Nut will overthrow him as the king of Kemet. Nut is a representation of the Milky Way which can only be seen in Ibudu. During the night time, with the light of Oma, we see the waves of the sky, Uzenu, 
which is also the ways that taught us about our origin. This is why Oma Oma is the mother of astrology, governing the constellation of Cancer. Ibudu governs the constellation of Scorpio, while his father, Ele, governs the constellation of Capricorn as the father of astrology. Ibudu is the ultimate reality because he taught us that all lives comes with a death sentence. We would never know life without death. Thus, death is as relevant as life. Renaissance art. The aim of the rebirth of the sacred art of Igbo African spirituality by Cyrus Ugo Art is to restore the glory of African methodology and unveil the hidden African intelligence in our spirituality. As we are the ones witnessing the beginning of Ogawa, the age of enlightenment, it is our duty to lay the foundation of Amu for the next generation. The world turtle, also referred to as the cosmic turtle or the world bearing turtle, is a system of a giant turtle or tortoise supporting or containing the world. This cosmic turtle represents how Ibu emerged with the universe from bottom to the top, uh, Omo Abara, Abara, which are the energy forces of the universe as they rose from no no shimiri to take their various places in Enuane. The cosmic turtle represents Ajana, the body of the Supreme Mother. Below her is Imane, which harbors the spirits of the sea, river and ocean. At the very top is the representation of Uge Ben Aja, which is the spirit of an ascended ancestor. The light at the very top is also Ture Sirius A, which is the source light of Igbo people. The Igbos are a cosmic seed people from Sirius A and Sirius B, as well as the Orion's Belt, 